In this section of the tutorial, we will analyze the reinforced concrete slab bridge superstructure we have just created from example A7 of the Manual for Bridge Evaluation. In video 3, we will show you how to use the Analysis Settings window to set a live load vehicle and turn on and turn off results output. We will also discuss the analysis results that are available through BRDR. We will be going over adding analysis vehicle for an LRFD design review, a load and resistance factor rating, a load factor rating, and an allowable stress rating. We will also show different reports output that are available for each analysis. Since the bridge model has been defined, you can collapse the bridge workspace tree and close the schematic windows. To check for error in bridge input, select Span 1 Superstructure Definition node and click on Validate from the ribbon as shown. Undock the Validation Message window. From the Validation Report, you can review the information, warning, and error messages for Span 1 Superstructure Definition. Dock and close the Validation window. You can also generate validation reports for each individual member or for the whole bridge as shown. Close the validation window. Open the Analysis Settings window by navigating to Design Rate tab and click on Analysis Settings on the ribbon in the Analysis group as shown. In the window, you can select between Design Review or Rating. If you are doing a rating, you can pick a rating method. You can also select Analysis Type, for example, Line Girder or 3D FEM. The Vehicle tab is used to define the vehicles for analysis. Vehicles are grouped under Vehicle Selection as Standard, Agency, User Defined, and temporary. Vehicles that appear in the Vehicle Selection section are based on whether a certain vehicle is allowed for a certain rating method type or design review as shown here. The Output tab allows you to select the tabular results and Ashto engine reports that need to be generated as part of the analysis. Now that we have an understanding of the Analysis Settings window, we will analyze the Superstructure Definition Span 1 with LRFD Design Review. For LRFD Design Review, select the radio button Design Review as shown. This will automatically switch design method to LRFD. Under Vehicle tab, select Summary Selection on the right, click on Design Loads, and then from the left Vehicle Selection section, click on HL93 US, and click the Add To button as shown. Similarly, add EV2 to permit loads. You can also add adjacent vehicle for permit loads, but we won't be doing that here in this example. In the Output tab, some tabular results and Ashto engine reports are selected by default. Select LRFD slash LRFR Concrete Article Detailed as shown from Ashto engine reports. Click OK to close the Analysis Settings window and analyze Span 1 superstructure definition. This analysis will analyze members S1 and S2. S3 will not be analyzed separately since it is linked to S1, and its analysis status is shown as the same as S1. Now we will be reviewing the reports for LRFD design review. For each member analysis, there is an error and warning log as shown. This analysis only has warning logs. Some of the warning logs have hyperlinks. Clicking on any hyperlink will open a bridge workspace window, which relates to the warning message. You can modify any input to handle the warning message. Reports will be available for the member alternatives of each member that was analyzed. To make the reports available, select Exterior Slab Member Alternatives for member S1 and see that all the ribbon icons under the results group have been activated. Click on Tabular Results on the ribbon. 
The reports in this window are displayed based on selection under Tabular Results section of the Output tab in the Analysis Settings window. The engine version of this analysis is noted at the bottom left-hand corner of this window. The dead load actions for each point of interest for all dead load cases are shown here. Change report type to Live Load Actions. The live load actions for each live load and for each live load type are shown here. Close the tabular results window. Click on the specification checks icon in the ribbon. This opens the specification checking viewer. You can see LRFD specification evaluations for each stage of analysis and for each point of interest. For a point of interest, you can also open a specific article to see the detailed evaluation. Click OK to close the window. You can also generate an XML report for all the selected specification articles in bullet or verbose format for the superstructure component that is selected on the left side. For this example, we are generating report only for point of interest at 4.3 feet. Close the Specification Check viewer. Click on the Engine Outputs icon on the ribbon. The Engine Output reports are based on the Ashto Engine Output checkbox on the Output tab of the Analysis Settings window. The Stage 1 and Stage 3 FE models are available in the form of XML reports. Live load distribution factor calculations are available in summary and detailed format. Reinforcement development length calculations are also available. Slab beam capacity calculations are available in summary, detailed, and verbose format. Click Cancel to close this window. Click on the Results Graph icon on the ribbon. You can view the plot for moment, shear, and definition for all dead and live load cases as shown here. The grid on the right hand also shows the data for the plot. Click Cancel to close the window. Switch to the Tools tab and click on the Report Tool icon. Here you can generate a Bridge Workspace XML report for all bridge model input and analysis results from LRFD Design Review. Click Open to choose an appropriate template. BWS Report for Slab Systems for this example. And select the template. Click Generate to generate the report. You can create your own template as well. From this window, you can also generate an LRFD analysis output report as shown for the topics shown here. Click on Generate to generate this report. Click Close to close this window. Before we run a rating analysis, we will have to create a permit vehicle in the library from Manual for Bridge Evaluation. Minimize the Bridge Workspace window. And from the Bridge Explorer window, open View tab and click on Library. This permit truck contains 11 axles, which we will now describe. Click on Standard Gauge under Vehicles and then click on New icon in the ribbon. Enter the following details about the vehicle as shown.
Be sure to select the rating method checkbox so this vehicle will be available for selection for these rating method types in the analysis settings window. If you want the vehicle to be available agency-wide, then keep it as agency-defined vehicle. If you want this vehicle access restricted to only you, then select this user-defined vehicle. Click Save to create the vehicle. Reopen the Library Explorer and click on the Vehicle MBE Permit. And click on the schematic icon on the ribbon to view the axle position of the truck defined. Close the library window and reopen the bridge workspace window as shown. Now we will be running a load and resistance factor rating. We will be opening the analysis settings window and select rating. We will then choose a rating method type, LRFR, as shown. We will select an inventory and operating vehicle, as shown. You can also select legal load rating routine vehicle and specialized hauling vehicle, as shown. Add Permit Load Ratings Vehicle, as shown. Permit Load Rating Vehicle also allows the addition of adjacent vehicles. Once all the vehicles are defined in the Vehicle Summary, you can click on the Advanced button to edit any advanced settings of each vehicle, like Impact Factor, Scale Factor, etc. For this example, we will not be adding any advanced settings. Click Cancel to close this window. Click OK to close the Analysis Settings window. Click on Span 1 node and analyze all the members of this superstructure. After the analysis, you can review the error and warning messages in the block below to analyze log for each member analysis. Drill down to the member alternative of a member S1 and select Exterior Slab Member Alternative node to review the analysis results and reports. Click on the tabular results from Results group of the ribbon under Design Rate tab. Switch to Single Rating Level per Row. You can view the rating summary for this member by vehicle and by rating category for the critical rating factor, critical location, and critical limit state. Close the tabular results window. Switch to Tools tab and click on Report Tool on the ribbon. Select LRFR Analysis Output as shown and click Generate to generate the report. This generates report for overall summary, reactions, moment summary, and shear summary by analysis vehicle. This also generates detailed rating results for this member for each point of interest. Now we will be running a load factor rating. Open the Analysis Settings window and clear all vehicles by clicking on the Clear button. We will choose a rating method type LFD as shown. We will select Inventory and Operating Vehicle as shown here. Click OK to close the Analysis Settings window and Analyze Exterior Slab Member Alternative.
Once the analysis completes tabular results, specification checks, engine output report, and results graph can be reviewed as shown before for load and resistance factor rating. Report tool report can also be generated for load factor ratings similar to load and resistance factor rating. Now we will be running an allowable stress rating. Open the analysis settings window and clear all vehicles by clicking on the clear button. We will choose a rating method type ASD as shown. We will select inventory and operating vehicle as shown here. Click OK to close the analysis settings window and analyze exterior slab member alternative. Once the analysis completes, tabular results, specification checks, engine output report, and results graph can be reviewed as shown before for load and resistance factor rating.